Fox tonight. A nearly two year long Portland police investigation into graffiti has uncovered an apparent ghost gun operation. The investigation began in the summer of 2021 and in recent months has focused on two graffiti vandals in particular. Fox 12's Anna Katayama has more on the story and joins us live tonight. Anna. Yes, Pete and Nora, please tell us they focused on these two because they were accused in an exceptionally large number of violations, many of which involved art murals, both here in downtown Portland and on the central east side. In the night, I don't leave the premises of my building, but I can definitely smell it happening. I can smell the paint. Tyler Tolliver has lived in the central east side for three years now, and he says the tagging happens almost every night. When I walk in the mornings, I'll see something freshly painted um, almost every single morning. He's encouraged to hear Portland police are cracking down. In January and April of this year, officers served search warrants at two residences, arresting 26-year-old Shalala Rastami and 43-year-old Jacob Ramos. Both are accused of tagging multiple locations. Police say that Ramos is a convicted felon, and at his home, officers say they found 17 illegally possessed firearms, including an AR-15 style rifle. Officers also say they found body armor and evidence of a gun manufacturing workshop there, including a 3D printer and raw components used to print and mill firearms, commonly known as ghost guns. It's just a bummer because I work really hard, and then when my pieces to face. It's just kind of a, it's kind of heartbreaking. Artist Haley Kassat has painted a few murals in the Central East Side. And like Tyler, she's happy to see police doing something about a situation that both believe has gotten out of hand. And I feel like this area is very under-policed. Um, and I love to hear that they're out here doing what needs to be done to stop not only the spray paint, but everything else that's happening in the area. All right, back live now. Both suspects in this case are facing multiple counts of criminal mischief. Ramos has also been indicted on 11 counts of manufacturing a firearm, being a felon in possession of a firearm, and possession of a short barrel rifle. Live in downtown Portland, Anna Kadiyama, Fox 12 Oregon.